For three months, the government said almost nothing about British geologist Jim Fitton, jailed for 15 years in Iraq for attempting to smuggle artefacts out of the country. Now it's claimed by the Foreign Secretary that they are pushing for his release. Well, we are lobbying Otherwise. the Iraqi government to do, to do to do what they can. Ultimately, uh, this is a decision for the Iraqi authorities, but we're doing all we can to secure his release. The 66-year-old on the left was arrested with a German colleague in March trying to leave the country. Twelve small stones and bits of pottery he'd collected in the desert led to the smuggling conviction. His colleague was acquitted and freed. In their first interview after his conviction, Jim Fitton's family called on the Foreign Secretary to intervene. Well, it's clearly an unfair verdict. And I think I would ask her to look into how the whole case was conducted. Today, the family declined to comment. We understand they don't wish to say anything that may impact negatively on the imminent appeal. The MP representing the family believes the Foreign Office still have questions to answer. We've got two outcomes. One prisoner is now free and, our, and Jim Fitton, um, our British citizen, is not free. So there's a, a, a quite clear contrast, uh, at which makes one wonder whether the Foreign Office approach has been correct. Few expected such a stiff sentence initially. Hopes are now pinned on the outcome of the appeal and the wish for Iraqi justice to reach a different decision. Rupert Evelyn, ITV News.